Hello, I'm Ethan Hamilton. I am 16 years old, and I have a twin sister named Anne, and I have juvenile idiopathic arthritis. I was diagnosed when I was five years old, and I believe I was at Pee Wee Soccer, and we had a big game, and I was in a pileup. And after that, I was very, very sore. But after a week, I didn't feel anything. I was still very, very sore and aching. And that's when we figured out something was wrong. Um, I believe we went to our pediatrician. Honestly, it was a long time ago. I have select few memories. I remember um, once, though, that I had the um, stills rash on my back, and we didn't know what it was. And it was big, it was it formed a bullseye. And basically I was itching like crazy, and I was, you know, I was freaking out, and mom was freaking out because she was scared. And she's busy trying to put calamine lotion on me, but you know, of course I'm itchy and I want to feel better, but at the same time, my favorite show was on. So I, that was my main priority. But, I mean, when it first started, the changes were much more drastic. And just in a couple years, since I've been diagnosed, they've made major breakthroughs. So, I mean, when I was little, I remember there were a lot of things that I had to do that were very unpleasant. I had to get blood tests all the time. I had shots every week. So, I mean, things changed in the sense that I got pulled out of school early. I felt more tired. I didn't get to play with my friends as much. So it was a drastic change. But I mean, you know, thinking about it now, it just, it seems normal. It doesn't seem fun. It doesn't seem like I prefer it, but it doesn't seem strange. I mean, I remember when I was little that um, for every blood test I had, I got to, you know, choose a beanie baby. So that was my big payoff. And eventually I graduated from beanie baby to Pokemon cards, and from Pokemon cards to I don't know what. But basically, you know, I've, you know, grown up through that. I mean, now I get stuck with a needle, you know, ju just as much. But, you know, nowadays I'm not as worried about whether I get the Beanie Baby I want or not. Yeah, I mean, I think that arthritis is something that's a problem, and I think that, you know, it's not something to be, you know, envied. It's something, you know, that, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to deal with, and, you know, it's really not fun. It's no, it's a, it's a bad, it stinks. But, um, I mean, I've told people, that if I had a choice, my arthritis has shaped me as a person. So I don't think I would change it. I don't think, I think there are ways of dealing with it. And I think that's why I'm glad to be part of the walk. Because, I mean, there are lots of, there are things you can do to make it better. You have to try to stay active. You have to try to stay on top of your game. I think that it's, you know, my mom has been, you know, tough on me. She's made me go to school, you know, I stay on top of my work. And I think, you know, that really benefits you in the end. I don't think you should take the easy way out. And, you know, it's going to be a lot harder in many ways for, you know, kids. I mean, I've had advantages in my life. But I've also had a lot of disadvantages, and this 
is maybe a stronger person. But otherwise, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm an average kid. I like to hang out with friends when I can. I like, you know, to play video games. I read, I watch TV. You know, there aren't so many differences. I just, you know, it's just that once kids go outside and start running around, it means that I have to find something else to do. Which can be tough, because, you know, you feel left out. But you find ways to cope, and you find people who, you know, who would rather hang out with you than, you know, go out and play frisbee. I think it's a great experience. I think that this, I, you know, I regretfully, you know, this is my first time really doing it. But I mean, I think it's something that is going to be a lifelong thing for me from now on. I think it's going to be something I'm really going to be part of. And I'm honored to, you know, for, for my first real time to actually, you know, that I'm actually working with them to actually be honored as a community hero. I think. You know, that's a really great way to start my experience, and I think it's a great way to, you know, spread awareness and raise money. I think it's, I think it's great. And I think, the, you know, being a community hero and walking, you know, being part of this arthritis walk is a great way to not only show how you can still lead a fulfilling life with arthritis that, you know, I want people to, you know, to be aware, to see that this is a real problem, that it's a real disease and that, you know, kids as well as adults suffer from it, but that at the same time there more, there are so many ways that, you know, it's definitely not. It definitely doesn't have to be, you know, such a burden. I would say that there are people like you and that there are people who care and that, yes, it's unfair and yes, life can be hard, but that arthritis doesn't have to hinder you. That you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to take any shortcuts. You should go to school, you know, as much as you can. You should do your work as much as you can. You should try to get out of the house as much as you can. And you should stay active. It's not fair and nobody wishes this on you. And I can't say why I or any other, you know, kid had to get arthritis, but, you know, as the cliche expression goes, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That's what I am. I'm a kid who happens to have arthritis. I'm not someone who's defined by arthritis. I'm just someone, I'm a normal person who, you know, has the same hopes and dreams as anybody else who happens to have arthritis.